According to page 6, Jennifer Lopez dined with her son Max and an assistant at the brand new Arthur and Sons in Bridgehampton on her second wedding anniversary without the groom. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. A spy tells us that the three of them dined on the terrace and ordered spaghetti with tomato and basil, calamari, and cannoli for dessert, which has led to growing speculation that she and Ben Affleck are no longer together. They brought some cheesecake with Limoncello home. Since its opening earlier this summer, the new Red Sauce restaurant has been a big hit. There have been sightings of Rouse genius Frank Pellegrino Jr. and his executive chef Dino Gatto, Rosanna and Elena Scotto, former CNN anchor Chris Cuomo, and, Sopranos, star Drea De Matteo. She was seen earlier in the day with her longtime manager, Benny Medina, driving around town in a vintage convertible. Over the past month, she and Affleck have not been seen together. When she was seen on Thursday leaving a high-end gym in the Hamptons, Jennifer Lopez was at her leanest. The actress and pop star, 54, was seen leaving an Equinox gym in the New York enclave wearing a white bralette top that showed off her well-defined abs. Jennifer was seen earlier arriving at the gym with a silver band on her ring finger, but her left hand was hidden as she left the gym while carrying a laptop and her phone. Jennifer put on a busty display in her white bralette, which had straps crisscrossing her muscular back and a tightly ruched band under the triangular cuffs. Ben Affleck, who has been spotted multiple times this week in Los Angeles amid divorce rumors, may not have wanted to bring such an expensive ring to the gym. It did not appear to be the same engagement ring that Ben Affleck had given to her. The singer, who is well known for her dedication to staying in shape, showed off biceps that were almost as impressive as her midriff. She was wearing a pair of loose-fitting sweatpants in mauve that she wore low to show off her abs fully. The brighter-colored lilac sweatshirt that she had been seen in earlier when she arrived at the gym was one of the items that she was clutching against her chest. Additionally, she had wedged one of the bedazzled drinking cups that she is known for. JLo contrasted her workout look by wearing boxy white sunglasses and silver hoop earrings while keeping her caramel-colored hair in a bun. As she left the gym and returned to the same classic slate gray Mercedes convertible in which she had arrived, she smiled softly. As he emerged from the driver's side, Benny gave the impression that he was the driver of the sleek vehicle. He wore a radiant orange top, shorts and coaches. As she got out of the car, Jennifer gathered her things, including her favorite bejeweled water bottle. Benny graciously opened the door for JLo when the two of them reached the entryway. One of JLo's 16-year-old twins Max, who she shares with her third ex-husband Mark Anthony, was also seen riding her bike that day in the sun. While her husband is still in Los Angeles, the star of Waiting for Tonight has been spending time in the Hamptons recently. The couple spent their second wedding anniversary apart earlier this week, and they are currently the subject of divorce rumors. While Ben was in Los Angeles, JLo was spotted in the Hamptons. It follows rumors that Jennifer and Ben are having marital difficulties two years after they got married. According to a source who spoke with us weekly, they are going through so much individually and as a couple. They may take some time to determine whether this difficult moment can be resolved on its own and whether they will return to one another as better people. The This Is Me, now star celebrated the 4th of July with her family and friends in the Hamptons, while the deep water actor remained in Los Angeles.